Using your mouse, double left click on the sample to open channel settings. In channel settings, click option assign free mixer track. Once the mixer track is opened, open first drop menu in the mixer. This is where you will be able to modify and add effects to the sample in the mixer. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use an equalizer, option fruity parametric EQ2. Feel free to toy around with equalizer until you've reached your desired highs and lows. In the second drop menu of the mixer, this is where you may choose another effect. In our tutorial, we plan on adding another equalizer. The purpose of applying a second equalizer is to eliminate all low frequencies. As we move over to the third drop box in the mixer, we're adding another effect, specifically Fruity Reverb. This effect generally adds reverb to the sample. Once Fruity Reverb is open, we're going to manipulate Decay and Reverb settings. Decay is the option that controls reverb reduction. In other words, how long it takes for reverb to end. The reverb option affects the amount of reverb you're actually using. In this tutorial, we chose to highlight the specific portion of the sample that will be affected by grow speed, which is our next step. Referring back to the mixer, we will add our fourth and final effect, grow speed to the sample. As you open up grow speed, you'll find a variety of pattern options. Feel free to experiment until you've found the one you like. Once you have selected a pattern, right-click on the panel and select Create Automation Clip. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be working with multiple grow speed patterns to add variation to the sample. With so many options, don't be shy to trial and error. The goal is to manipulate variation, discover one or more patterns that suit your liking. Once you've chosen your selection of gross beats, highlight your selection then copy and paste repeatedly under the sample. In order to copy, you must press the highlighted selection until the program lets you know it's been copied. Then you can drag the selection over. And just like that, you learned how to add effects such as EQ, Reverb, and Gross Beat to your sample in FL Studio 11.